ちょっと。<coughs> so, good evening. Now, students, are you all ready today for this marathon English class? I hope we'll be doing today 100 uh, questions covering your entire, entire syllabus because you'll be getting 100 questions as per your. Uh, syllabus that is given to you by SSB. So, before we start, let me give you a share a good news with you all of you. We at Vidyakar have developed a study material and we have tried to deliver the best possible teaching, online, to, online teaching to the students of and aspirants of Odisha. And the recently, uh, the results of the RHC, regular high school teacher had just come out. And there are number of students have qualified from Vidyakar. Those who have, those who have uh, been the paired batches, number of students have qualified. And today, messages are pouring in. And some of the messages are there reflected on, the bo on this uh, board. You can see number of students, they are expressing their get gratitude. In CBZ, one of our students, his name is, Ms. I'm, uh, he's, uh, he writes, I am Mahesh Mishra, a student of your paired batch RHT CBZ. Thank you very much with the team. So, just because of your mock test and well content, I have scored a 126 in main examination and hold rank 3 in state level. So now, he has been, he has stood third in the whole entire state of Odisha. And I hope that the same kind of a result, we will go on repeating batch after batch in def different, different examinations, which we have taken and which we have, we are developing the con content managing to collect materials and trying to put up the best show for you all. Okay? Now, let us get started. This is all about your Vidya classes. Okay. Let us start straight away. Now, this is question number 1. Who is often, these are all very easy questions, who is often referred to as the father of English poetry? A. Geoffrey Chaucer, B. William Shakespeare, C. John Milton, D. Charles Dickens. It is a very, very easy question. So, it is answer A, which is Geoffrey Chaucer, because Chaucer is the one who started writing, who started writing in Middle English and English is a hodgepodge, like it is a hodgepodge language. And to standardize that language in writing and middle, prologues to the Canterbury Tales, is, is, it was a very challenging task and that is why Chaucer is called the father of English poetry. Okay? Next, which famous playwright is known for works like Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet? So, it is pretty easy. The options are A. William Wordsworth, B. Samuel Johnson, C. William Shakespeare, D. John Keats. A very easy question and I hope all of you, almost 100 percent, those of you who are what, who have joined in this live class must be knowing the answer because your examination is only exactly 12 days away. 11 days on 3rd of December, you are going to take your exam, write your exam. Okay? It is William Shakespeare, option C, William Shakespeare. Paradise Lost is an epic poem written by which English poet? A. William Wordsworth, B. John Milton, C. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, D. Alexander Pope will be fast today. Who is known for Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Sorry, Paradise Lost is an epic poem written by which English poet? Let me see the answer. Paradise Lost, I am really very, very sad to say, Paradise Lost has been, is very much there in the syllabus. Do not you know it is option B, John Milton? Paradise Lost, Paradise Regained, 
people of all over the world even today they remember john milton first for one and only cause is the first primary reason is paradise lost next question who wrote the novel pride and prejudice a jane austen b emily bronte c charlotte bronte d george eliot pride and prejudice now the question is on your screen some of you are writing a some of you are writing b anyway the answer is jane austen jane austen who is by f r lewis is considered one of the classic writers women novelist who has given you novels like pride and prejudice emma then um, uh, sem then uh, northanger abbey so many you can't count her. what a wonderful novelist she was her setting was a small village and what happens in that village she writes in a very realistic fashion because you know which author is always you like jee them like hardy hardy developed the wessex but imaginary world similarly jane austen in emma in pride and prejudice what she did in a very small space middle class people how they behave what is their kind of a lifestyle what are their expectations in pride and prejudice obviously if sabbu bapa ma chahanti gote jiyara bahagar gote mane gote bhalo khandan thibo pila sundar thibo highly educated thibo sambhu bapa ma kare dream thai dream or reality are two different things but there is a dream so this kind of dreams presenting in a pride and prejudice is a wonderful it's a wonderful novel so which english romantic poet is famous for writing ode to a nightingale a samuel taylor coleridge b lord byron c john keats d percy bysshe shelley O to a nightingale. This is also prescribed in the syllabus. And share the link with your friends. Tell them to join in huge number. O to a nightingale. The six great odes, which John Keats. The option C. It is John Keats who wrote the O to a nightingale. O to autumn. O to a Grecian urn. So this is ode, the six great odes of John Keats. Which literary period in English literature is known for its focus on reason, science, and satire? A. Romanticism. B. Renaissance. C. Enlightenment. D. Victorian era. now let me see this question this particular question which literary period in english literature is known for its focus on reason science and uh, satire which is known as age of reason age of satire and uh, age of science not exactly age of science it is a uh, very good its option c it is age of enlightenment the augustan era the 18th century is known as the age of reason age of prose age of satire because the scientific spirit had just consolidated next question who is the author of the famous gothic novel frankenstein a mary shelley b emily bronte c charlotte bronte d jane austen this question who is the author of the goth famous gothic novel frankenstein 
अरुंधति पंडा ए मैरी शेली नूर फतिमा ए मैरी शेली इट्स एब्सोल्युटली राइट मैरी शेली हु इज द वाइफ ऑफ पी बी शेली द डॉटर ऑफ मैरी वुल्स्टन क्राफ्ट एंड विलियम गॉडविन टू ग्रेट नेम्स टू फेमस पर्सनैलिटीज वन इज द आई थिंक हु स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वेव ऑफ फेमिनिज्म मैरी वुल्स्टन क्राफ्ट एंड विलियम गॉडविन a great a very revolutionary philosopher who inspired shelley and shelley married mary shelley and mary shelley has written frankenstein okay next question which english poet is associated with the metaphysical poets and wrote poems like the flea and a valediction forbidding morning a john donne b robert browning c alfred lord tennyson d william blake the next question it is mary shelley so which po poet which metaphysical poet has written a valediction for the morning the flea so it is option a it is john dun which famous 19th century author wrote novels like oliver twist and great expectations a charles dickens b thomas hardy c george eliot d jane austen because today we don't have time since it's a marathon class so i can't go on explaining explaining because a valediction forbidding morning of john dun is very much there in the honors uh, syllabus in the post graduate syllabus where john has when dun has the fusion of thought and feeling unification of sensibility is very much pro, uh, like uh, very much visible that famous compass concept metaphysical concept with dun used to express his feeling his love now this question which famous 19th century novelist wrote yes very good it's charles dickens because great expectations was very much there in the syllabus the great pip and estella the love story of pip and estella and the villain miss havisham it is option a charles dickens Who is the author of the Canterbury Tales, a collection of stories written in Middle Middle English? A. John Bunyan. B. George Jeffrey Chaucer. C. Thomas More. D. Christopher Marlowe. The next question. I think this one everybody should get it right. A G I could no, thick answer no kala mane. So totally pay one. I am hundred percent guarantee they go. It is Jeffrey Chaucer. Who wrote the epic poem Beowulf, one of the oldest works of English literature? It is romance, like Beowulf goes. and attacks it is just like an epic hero a jeffrey chaucer b william shakespeare c john milton d unknown author because beowulf is not in a syllabus till then one should know about beowulf it is option d unknown author which shakespearean play features the characters of macbeth and lady macbeth listen ekdam be very fast kar 100 questions kariba kemti we can't take 5 hours we must finish it within 1 and 1/2 hours to 1 and 1/2 half to 2 hours which shakespearean play features the characters of macbeth and lady macbeth
very good it is a Ro Romeo and Juliet B Othello C Macbeth D Julius Caesar it is option C Macbeth. <coughs> Wuthering Heights is a novel written by which English author? A. Jane Austen, B. Emily Bronte, C. Charles, Charles Dickens, D. George Eliot. Next question. It is flashing slightly one question late, one minute late. Wuthering Heights is a novel written by which British author. It is a option B Emily Bronte. She has written one novel, Wuthering Heights, that is something surreal. What a novel it is. Give that novel the abridged version to a 11, 12 year old girl or a boy. It's a wonderful, the language, everything is simply marvelous. And Heathcliff, the character. His strangeness fascinates and his wickedness simply repels. He is a strange character. His strangeness will fascinate you and his wickedness, the kind of vindictive he was, the kind that he tries to wreak vengeance on Hindley and his family. So, that just is something abominable, something very, very repulsive. So, it is the great Emily Bronte who has created, who has written Wuthering Heights. Who is known for composing the rhyme of the ancient mariner, a famous poem about a sailor's supernatural experiences at sea? A. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, B. Lord Byron, C. John Keats, D. William Wordsworth. <coughs> Who is known for composing the rhyme of the ancient mariner about a sailor's supernatural experience? It is Samuel Taylor Coleridge option A is the right answer. Which literary period in English literature is often associated with the works of William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge? and other poets who focused on nature and emotion. Options A enlightenment, B romanticism, C Victorian era, D Rinasa. Listen you are only 12 days away from your examination and this question I think you can all answer at the same pace. Because the questions are very, very easy. Gone question as your examination, I do not know. But these questions are pretty easy, and I hope that all of you can get it within 10 seconds. Noor Fatima romanticism, Uttam Suna romantic period, yes, very good because Coleridge Wordsworth means romantic period. So, it belongs to option B romanticism. Option B is the right answer. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a novel written by A. Oscar Wilde, B. Robert Louis Stevenson, C. Charles Dickens, D. Emily Bronte. Somebody is writing Anur Jeffrey Chaucer. So, Jeffrey Chaucer is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little <coughs> and somebody is writing lake poets also. Lake poets jadi thanta as an option, then you can write because it is a multiple choice. You have to go by the options. 
not by what you feel. They are known as leg poets, I know. Robert Southey, uh, then Wordsworth and Coleridge, they are known as the leg poets. So, the next question, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a novel written by Oscar Wilde, Robert Louis Stevenson, C. Charles Dickens, D. Emily Bronte. It is option B, Robert Louis Stevenson. Who is the author of The Picture of Dorian Gray, a novel exploring themes of aestheticism and moral corruption? Author of The Picture of, the Picture of Dorian Gray a novel exploring themes of aestheticism and moral corruption. A. Jane Austen, B. Emily Bronte, C. Oscar Wilde, D. George Eliot. Come on quick, A answer takara. It is option C, Oscar Wilde. Next question. Which English poet is famous for his collection of poems titled Songs of Innocence and Experience? Next question. The answer is Oscar Wilde. In a question, the which English poet is famous for his collection of poems titled Songs of Innocence and Experience. A. William Blake, B. John Donne, C. P. B. Shelley, D. Lord Byron. Come on quick, a question answer. It is not William Black, it is William Blake. It is option A, William Blake. In which novel would you find the character Elizabeth Bennet known for her wit and intelligence? A. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, B. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, C. Emma by Jane Austen, D. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And next, this question. This is William Blake is the right answer. A question of the call. In which novel would you find the character Elizabeth Bennet known for her wit and intelligence? Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Pride and Prejudice by M. John Jane Austen, Emma by Jane Austen, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So, it is Pride and Prejudice where Elizabeth De Bennet and Darcy. It is option B, Pride and Prejudice. <coughs> Who is the author of Gulliver's Travel, a satirical novel that follows the adventures of Lemuel Gulliver in fantastical lands? It consists of four books, book 1, book 2, book 3, book 4. Who is the novelist? Now, look at this question. Who has written Gulliver's Travel? Rakesh Das, Nora, Noor Fatima, John, yes, Uttam Sura, yes, very good, it is Jonathan Swift, and only because of his fourth book, which is the, the voice to the Hunims, Swift was regarded, branded as a misanthropist, a hater of mankind. So, it is option A, Jonathan Swift. The, the most intelligent Irish novelist. Next, the poem to be or not to be, that is the question, is from which Shakespearean play? A. Macbeth, B. Hamlet, C. Othello, D. Romeo and Juliet. The next question, to be or not to be, is this part, this guy, it's a, uh, let me give you a hint, it is a soliloquy, a famous soliloquy, from which play of Shakespeare? Some of you are writing Macbeth, no, it is absolutely, it is Hamlet, it is absolutely right, 
to be or not to be. This is the dilemma of it reflects a famous soliloquy of Hamlet. It is the longest play of Shakespeare and it consists of famous seven soliloquies. And the soliloquies, they but that is why it is a study of psycholo psychologic psychology of a character. It is it is a kind of a psychological play also, Hamlet. Which English novelist wrote Middle March, a novel that explores the lives of various characters in a provincial town? Which English novelist wrote Middle March, a novel that explores the lives of various characters in a provincial town? A. Charles Dickens, B. George Eliot, C. Thomas Hardy, D. Jane Austen. It is very good. It is B option B George Eliot. Who wrote the classic novel Jane Eyre featuring the character of a governess with a troubled past? A Emily Bronte, B Charlotte Bronte, C George Eliot, D Jane Austen. Now, this question, who wrote the classic novel Jane Eyre, featuring the character of a governess, her name is Jane Eyre, with a troubled past, orphaned at a very young age? Yes, very good. It is Jane Eyre is by Charlotte Bronte, because she has, there is a character called Bertha Masham. who is married to Rochester, first wife of Rochester. And that is a study of feminism also. Because many feminists, they have cited Bertha Mashon as the character, a mad woman in the attic, in the attic it refers to Bertha Mashon. The Westland is a landmark poem written by which American British modernist poet? A. T. S. Eliot, B. Ezra Pound, C. W. B. Yeats, D. Robert Frost. The next question. The Westland is a landmark poem written by which American British modernist poet? Very good. It is option A T S Eliot. And this year in 2023, it was the 100 years of Westland was celebrated by in Ravenshire University. In, in two, three places, it was of the 100 years of tele Westland was observed. It is option A T S Eliot. Which English writer penned the famous children's book Alice's Adventure in Wonderland? A. Charles Dickens, B. Lewis Carroll, C. James Barry, D. Beatrix Potter. Hotel Marion, Rahitla, 100 years, T. S. E. Eliot of Westland, Upare, Ravensa University, Rahitla, seminar. Westland. It is Charles Dickens. Yes, Alice in Wonderland. Choto pilanga school re padha uchi par sabu CBSE, ICS re. Lewis Carroll re Alice in Wonderland thay. Anyway, it is option B. Lewis Carroll. Who is the author of the Gothic novel Dracula? A. Bram Stoker. B. Mary Shelley. C. Emily Bronte D. Robert Louis Stevenson. Be fast. Dracula.
answer this question. It is Abraham Stoker, the Irish novelist, Bram Stoker, who is famously very popularly known as Bram Stoker. It is option A, Bram Stoker. Which romantic poet is known for writing Ode to the West Wind and to a Skylar? A. Lord Byron, B. Percy Bish Shelley, C. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, D. John Keats. Actually, this is becoming slightly slow. <coughs> Which romantic poet who has written both Ode to a West Wind and To a Skylark? It is Shelley, it is P. B. Shelley. The famous lines of Ode to a West Wind If winter comes, can spring be far behind? Who wrote the poem Two Autumn, celebrating the beauty of the autumn season? A. John Keats, B. Lord Byron, C. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, D. William Wordsworth. Share the link with your friends. The telegram link is given. Share your links with your friends, those who are preparing for this exam. Let them join. the correct answer. Some of you are giving the right answer, some of you are not, but anyway the correct answer is John Keats. Keats Ode to Autumn is known to be one of her, one of his matured odes, one of his, his, his most matured odes, odes is Ode to Autumn. Pick the odd one out. A. Sense and Sensibility, B. Emma, C. Jane Eyre, D. Pride and Prejudice. It is pretty easy question. Pick the odd one out. It is option C, Jane Eyre, because Sense and Sensibility, Emma and Pride and Prejudice are written by Jane Austen, whereas Jane Eyre is written by Charlotte Bronte. So, this is the odd one out of the four, because A, B and D, these three novels are written by Jane Austen and this is written by Charlotte Bronte. Which English? Which English romantic poet is known for writing Ode to a Nightingale? A. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, B. Lord Byron, C. John Keats, D. P. B. Shelley. Ode to a Nightingale. The option is John Keats. The famous quotation, life is a tale told by an idiot occurs in which play? A. King Lear, B. Hamlet, C. Antony and Cleopatra, D. Macbeth. <coughs> the famous quotation, life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Jo sound and fury ku William Faulkner took it and in and is one of his the uh, title of one of his novels was sound and fury. Sound and fury signifying nothing.
Very good, it is option D, Macbeth. Listen, so Shakespeare kara jo famous quotations kura ka, you have to remember. Particularly, you remember like uh, jo fool mana kara jo achi, crown justice, court justice, Shakespeare kara, feste, falstaff, dogberry, verges, emana kara famous quotations kura ka tiki monra kiba. Because you do not know what kind of a questions, what kind of questions are going to come. Okay? Now, the term negative capability was coined by A. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, B. Lord Byron, C. John Cates, D. William Wordsworth. So, it is option C that is John Cates. Castle of Otranto is written by A. Anne Radcliffe, B. Robert Louis Stevenson, C. Horace Walpole, D. Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker, sir. Very good. It is the Castle of Otranto is written by Horace Walpole. Option C is the right answer. Next, the line "The world's a stage" occurs in which of the Shakespearean plays? A. Hamlet. B. Merchant of Venice. C. As you like it. D. The Tempest. The system is slightly slow. It is in Jack says in as you like it. It is option C as you like it. Shakespeare's first folio was published in A 1609, B 1616, D C 1621, D 1623. Now, let us come to the next question. Shakespeare's first folio was published in which year? Sabita Manjari Mahapatran do not write 1621 in a famous 1623 because Shakespeare died in 1660. His friends arranged all his manuscripts and published it as a first folio in 1623. Kette gode date mon rakhe go haba option D is the right answer. Next, in which literary period is the novel Pamela by Samuel Richardson typically categorized A enlightenment, B renaissance, C romanticism, D Victorian era. Particularly, your first folio 1623, you have to remember that date. In which literary period is the novel Pamela by Samuel Richardson typically categorized? A question with a call. It is option A, it is enlightenment because it is the 18th century beginning of the uh, Richardson and uh, Henry Fielding, they carried the baton of novels. Henry Fielding 
wrote picaresque novel in Tom Jones. Then Lauren, Lauren Stern. So they are, these are the pioneers. How many sonnets are written by Shakespeare? A 316, B 108, C 89, D 154. How many sonnets have written by Shakespeare? So, it is 154 and it was addressed to one dark lady and a person very mysterious W H. People say it is Earl of Pembroke. Who is the protagonist of the novel Middlemarch? A. Mary Garth, B. Dorothea Brooke, C. Mr. Arthur Brooke, D. Tertius Lydgate. Who is the protagonist of the novel? Because George Eliot was a women novelist and a practice, most of her protagonists were women. So, who is the main, who is the protagonist in the novel Middlemarch? I have already given you told you that it is written by George Eliot. It is option B Dorothea Brooke. Rudyard Kipling won the Nobel Prize in the year A 1907, B 1912, C He was the youngest to receive the Nobel Prize, the youngest to receive the Nobel Prize for literature. It was in 1907, option A. The poem The Sunshine Cat is written by A. Kamla Das, B. Arun Kolatkar, C. Nisim Izakil, D. Aga Saeed Ali. The poem Sunshine Cat. Because Rudyard Kipling, you have to remember, because Tankar Khashyathala, he was pretty young when he received the Nobel Prize. Or usually, Nobel Prize was written in the middle of the year, 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 in the middle The poem Sunshine Cat written by A. Kamla Das, B. Arun Kalatkar, C. Nisim Izakil, D. Aga Saeed Ali. It is option A, Kamla Das. Which Indian English writer is known for his novels dealing with the partition of India such as train to Pakistan? A. R. Parthasarthi, B. K. K. N. Darwala, C. Faiz Ahmed Faiz, D. Kushwan Singh. Kushwan Singh is famous for his for his uh, novel, the, the Train to Pakistan. Option D is the right answer. Now, next question. Knight of the Scorpion is written by A. Jayanta Mahapatra, B. Kamala Das, C. Aga Saheed Ali, D. Nisim Ezekiel. If you are satisfied, if you are happy, give a thumbs up. So, that we will know actually that yes, 
what we are doing, what we are, what we are uh, supplying, the material which we are giving you, the ideas which we are conveying, whether it is of, it is of for some use or not. So, join our telegram channel, even if a Bharatin Ochi, join our telegram, uh, telegram channel and uh, share and like, uh, give your likes and share it with your friends, because the channel should be popularized, because it is it's a purely, uh, it belongs to Odisha. So, the people of Odisha should be benefited primarily first. Okay. Thank you. The Night of the Scorpion school syllabus ICSC or CBSE school I, I do not know about CBSE ICSE school Night of the Scorpion It is a very famous poem of option D Nisim Ezekiel the Night of the Scorpion. Which Indian English poet is known for her feminist poetry and authored works like The Descendants and The Old Playhouse? A. Gif Patel, B. Imtiaz Dharkar, C. Kamala Das, D. Vikram Seth. Very good, that is that's great, that is a great spirit, because your uh, appreciation will boost our morale and we will be more and more encouraged to deliver the best, which is humanly possible. I mean the question kori no, question pada. So, we are trying our best to collect good materials, develop them, check them, recheck them and to deliver to you all, so that you should be benefited. Amara Makshadu ji objective that more and more number of students should qualify. Tammane chakiri pahle hain bahut khusi ho. Understand? So, give you, please like and share it with your friends, tell your friends and jo to join our telegram channel join us on telegram. So, we will be extremely happy and we will be more and more encouraged for all the upcoming examinations. Okay, next, who has which Indian English poet is known for the feminist poetry and authored works like The Descendants and The Old Playhouse? A. Gif Patel, B. Imtiaz Dharkar, C. Kamla Das, D. Vikram Seth, it is option C. Kamla Das, who is a confessional poet, very brave poet, she wrote poetry of revolt, it is poetry of protest, she was protesting against male domination. Next question, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913? A. Rabindranath Tagore, B. Toru Dat, C. Sarojini Naidu, D. Keki N. Daruwala. Who received the Nobel Prize? It is a pretty easy question. This is a Kainwalk Indian Scopitari Rabindranath Tagore received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. It is Rabindranath Tagore. Who is the author of the Indian English novel Train to Pakistan, which explores the impact of the partition of India? Same question. First, who wrote it? Kushwan Singh. And who is the author of the Indian English uh, novel? It is option A, Arkanaran, B, Arundhati Roy, C, Ras Raskin Bond, D, Kushwan Singh, option D. Which Indian writer has penned the post office and the home and the world? A, Giris Karnad. B. Vijay Tendulkar, C. Rabindranath Tagore, D. Badal Sarkar. It almost repeat question here, Uchi, Kushwan Singh Ra. Repeat question here, Uchi. So, type collaborate, so all these things are uh, typographical error. Okay, net level or net parikha bolo dekha jiwa. Tomorrow ata bata na SSB parikha pe preparation. This course material is for SSB, not for net level. The Indian author who has spent the post office and the home and the world. 
It is option C, Rabindranath Tagore. Midnight's Children, a celebrated Indian English novel, was authored by A. Raja Rao, B. Chetan Bhagat, C. Salman Rasdi, D. Jhumpa Lahiri. Midnight's Children. Listen, you all are preparing for everything. Net pay porcha net versu di thorochi. Kin the SSP the versu di thoroni. Di versa di nibosa thorehochi. So, this is purely for the SSB aspirants. Yet in Tariya Sarichiba, then we will develop material for net. Amaratra RH did a bohuti pila paichanti, bohut bohut pila paichanti, CBZ repaichanti, arts repaichanti, science CBZ repaichanti, PCM repaichanti. Pouring in lots of things answer, mean like messages are pouring in. Kalto. Then expressing our course, our course material is also very, very cheap. And very and most of the teachers, they are very qualified and very, very highly qualified teachers are teaching. Midnight Children is was authored by A. Raja Rao, B. Chetan Bhagat, C. Salman Razdi, D. Jhumpalairi. Very good, it is option C, Salman Razdi. Who wrote the novel A Suitable Boy, which is set in post independence India and follows the story of a young woman in search of a suitable groom? A. Arundhati Roy, B. Vikram Set, C. Kiran Desai, D. Arvind Adiga. A suitable boy. It is Vikram set. You know what is the speciality of suitable boy? Usually, 20th century modern modern world time nahi. People are not interested to read a 400 plus page novel. But Vikram set to suitable boy, the publisher offered money which Vikram set never expected. He is going to get such a huge amount of money. Because writers man ko paisa do in India re. But Vikram set to suitable boy was offered a huge amount. And people, people did read in spite of that uh, busy schedule, got a 400 plus page or novel time and everybody appreciated that. Anyway, this is A. Arundhati Roy, B. Vikram Seth, C. Kiran Desai, D. Arvind Adiga, it is Vikram Seth's suitable boy. Which Indian playwright and director is known for his contributions to modern Indian theatre? including plays like Tughlaq and Hayabadana. A. Giris Karnad, B. Vijay Tendulkar, C. Badal Sarkar, D. Satyajit Ray. It is option A. It is Giris Karnad. Next, who is the author of the novel To Kill a Mockingbird set in the radical, racially charged American South during the 1930s? A. John Steinbeck, B. Harper Lee, C. F. Scott Fitzgerald, D. Mark Twain. To Kill a Mockingbird. Let me see this question. It is Harper Lee. When we were studying to kill a mocking word, bird was in the in the past course. BA English general English said kill a mocking bird boy. It was prescribed. It was Harper Lee. So these people, Harper Lee, these writers, those who were really saw the, the trauma of the blacks the African Americans and particularly the southern part of America, Kentucky, then um, like uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, South one is agricultural dominated area. Na? 
सेठी समान कर दरकार बॉन्डेड लेबर दरकार स्लेव दरकार चासो करिए पे सो सो दैट इज द हार्पर ली दीज पीपल दे रोट अबाउट द ट्रॉमा ऑफ द साउथर्न अमेरिकन ओके इट इज हार्पर ली Which American author wrote *The Catcher in the Rye*, a novel about the alienation and disillusionment of a teenager named Holden Caulfield? A. J. D. Salinger. B. Ernest Hemingway. C. William Faulkner. D. John Updike. एक क्वेश्चन है देख लो। इट इस जेडी सैलेंजर। सैलेंजर ओ बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ हिस स्लाइटली ऑब्सीन। क्वाइट अ नंबर ऑफ़ टाइम ही वाज चैलेंज्ड बाय द स्कूल। मेनी ऑफ़ द स्कूल्स इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स। इट इस जेडी सैलेंजर्स, जेडी सैलेंजर। ऑप्शन ए इस द राइट आंसर। the Great Gatsby is a classic American novel written by A. F. Scott Fitzgerald, B. John Steinbeck, C. Ernest Hemingway, D. Harper Lee. Even Great Gatsby B. prescribed the honors of PG syllabus. It may be achi in some autonomous colleges. Honors are achi. I want to uh, just uh, uh, inform and give a import, give an important announcement that ten sets of questions, practice for for your practice, before your exams, has already been there. It's known as Parishram Test, Parishram Test Series, is already there, and already been given by you in the Vidya Kar app. So please download the app and go on practicing it. All the questions are very very. Find standard questions, and I hope that out of those uh, ten, uh, that means that means thousand questions. Each set we are giving hundred questions, so ten so practice series, ten or six practice uh, series, means thousand questions. Thousands question minimum of like which, thirty to forty question as if. Who babu ji? Maybe more. So that kahi over it is just a wild guess. Okay. So this is the Great Gatsby. F. Scott Fitzgerald, B. John Steinbeck, C. Ernest Hemingway, D. Harper Lee. It is option A. Scott Fitzgerald. Who penned the epic poem "Leaves of Grass," which celebrated the individual and the democratic spirit of America? A. Emily Dickinson, B. Edgar Allan Poe, C. Walt Whitman, D. Langston Hughes. Who penned the epic poem "Leaves of Grass"? Hmm, very good. It is option C, Walt Whitman. Which American playwright is known for works like *Death of a Salesman* and *The Crucible*? A. Tennessee Williams. B. Arthur Miller. C. Eugene O'Neill. D. August Wilson. Death of a Salesman, Crucible. Very good. It's Arthur Miller. His famous "All My Sons," the Death of a Salesman, which deals with the American dream. How that American dream has shattered many lives. Who is 
is the author of the adventure of Huckleberry Finn, a novel often regarded as one of the greatest American novels. A. Nathaniel Hawthorne, B. Edgar Allan Poe, C. F. Scott Fitzgerald, D. Mark Twain. So, you know, the kind of a life Arthur Miller has depicted in Death of a Salesman, in the present Indian society you see the same thing. So, 1930s or American life society project and the same society, how a salesman can the pilaman ko target the ajauchi, ethic target nakuri parle the tension. So, Bartan India Ratham dekhiwa most of the youngsters at the age of 35 saman ko diabetes blood pressure baruchi. Can a sales marketing a target is so so difficult. So, they give you a target, a target rich call a incentive paiva, no le nai. Otherwise, you lose your job. So, a target oriented is your dream. Success, a failure has no place in the society. American dream or got a bahut costa jinsa thila. A failure has no place in the society. Jo think William Loman committed suicide because he considered himself to be a failure a poor salesman. Mo pilaman jil dekhe ebe mo sabu bale death of a salesman katha man kone. Kinti 35, 36 age re blood pressure diabetes hai jauji pilaan ko. Anyway, it is very good, it is mark to an option D. The road not taken and stopping by woods on a snowy evening are famous poems written by A. Robert Frost B. Langston Hughes C. Emily Dickinson D. T. S. Eliot. It is a very easy question stopping by woods plus two the achi. It is option A Robert Frost. Plus to a invitation in English or chipra stopping by a woods on a snowy evening. A key look to T.S. Eliot. I am really, I feel very disheartened when I see somebody writing T.S. Eliot has written stopping by woods on a snowy evening. There are plus two rachi invitation to English book one ray. Now, who wrote the novel One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? which explores the oppressive environment of a mental institution. A. Kurt Vonnegut, B. Ken Cassie, C. Philip Roth, D. Saul Bellow. This is, it has been made into a movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and it is a very, 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 very touching novel, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's net, it is option B, Ken Kesi. Kinti mental asylum, mental asylum, mana kono, pagala jaku, pagala manu jut rokha jai. Mane 50 percent of them are not mad, they have psychological issues. Ao se mane eat mental asylum, re avdika pagala hai janti. How one is trying to get away from that mental institution, that environment, it is a very, very touching novel. Which British author is known for her mystery novels featuring Detective Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple? A. Agatha Christie, B. Dashiell Hammett, C. Raymond Ch Chandler, D. Arthur Conan Doyle. It is option A, Agatha Christie. Pillar is a marathon class, so I had a question about them. We, am, we have to be little, little fast. Who is the author of the novel Beloved, which tells the story of an escaped slave and explores the legacy of slavery in America? A, Toni Morrison, B, Maya Angelou, C, Zora Neale Hurston, D, Alice Walker. It is Toni Morrison. Apart from the blue eyes, this is also, The Beloved is also a very, very touching novel of Toni Morrison. Anne Frank, 
Albert Camus, the French Algerian author, is known for his philosophy of A, existentialism, B, surrealism, C, absurdism, D, nihilism. Albert Camus. It is a C absurdism. Which of Camus novel novels tells the story of Marshall, an emotionally detached Algerian who becomes embroiled in a murder case? A the fall, B the stranger, C the myth of Sisyphus, D the plague. It is option B the stranger. This is the option B, the stranger is the right answer. Henry Ibsen, the Norwegian playwright, is often called the father of A, realism in theater, B, absurdist drama, C, symbolism in literature, D, expressionism in art. Next question. So, the outsider, the English translation is called the stranger. We have read it as the outsider. Because it was always deemed that the outsider no Padichi, Sajam Paul Satrako being a nothingness Padichi, English literature Padini. Then I am a subbole say Bahura Kiniki Rakthilo. The outsider of being a nothingness. Anyway, in Henry Ibsen, the Norwegian playwright, is often called the father of realism in theatre. Father, it is option A, realism in theatre. Theater. He is known as the father of realism. Which Ibsen play deals with the controversial topic of venereal disease, you like syphilis, and the consequences of societal hypocrisy? A, a doll's house, B, ghosts. C. Hedda Gabler, D. An enemy of the people, where Ibsen talks about the venereal disease. So, it is syphilis is a venereal disease. It is in the play Ghosts. Samuel Beckett, the Irish playwright, is best known for his play A. The Glass Menagerie, B. Waiting for Godot, C. Long Day's Journey into Night, D. Who is afraid of Virginia Woolf? Now, this is Beckett, a famous play, Waiting for Godo, which is there in a, which has been prescribed in a syllabus. All of you must have read. GA English, I may pass karik, SSB pe prepare kuchi. Sammost is a nov play taku partitibe. Play partitibe text kebe. Summary partitibe notes to partitibe. Beckett's play Crap's Last Tape features a character who listens to recordings of his own voice. What is the main theme explored in the play? In Crap's Beckett Samuel Beckett's Crap's Last Tape, the character goes on listening to the tape, listening to his own voice. What does it? What is the main theme explored in the play? A memory and identity, B existential despair, C political activism, D the search for meaning. It is option A, the theme is memory and identity. Alice Munro, the Canadian author is renowned for her contributions to which literary form? A poetry, B drama, C short stories, D essays. No, no, existential despair, no, it is memory and identity. Because Barambar, Barambar, kind of question, tape ta ko.
It is option C, short stories. In which year did Alice Munro win the Nobel Prize? A, 2012, B, 2013, C, 2014, D, 2015. It is option B, 2013. In 2013, Alice Munro, the Canadian short story writer, won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Pablo Neruda, the Chilean poet, is known for his association with which literary movement? A. Romanticism, B. Surrealism, C. Realism, D. Modernism. <laughs> Pablo Neruda, the Chilean poet, he is from Chile. No, it is option B surrealism. Neruda is a Chilean poet, wrote in Spanish, wrote in Spanish. Neruda's collection of love poems, 20 love poems and a song of despair was originally published when he was A in his teens, B in his twenties, C in his thirties, D in his forties. It is a controversial thing means it has when he was 19 years of age, 20 love poems and a song of despair was published. But later on, he also wrote poems or taku safe answer hoji in his 20s. Can 19 hoji teen or last teenage the 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yoda teen lagi satala teenage. So when he was 19, it was published. So it is an safe answer hoji in his 20s, option B. V. S. Naipaul, the Trinidadian born British author, won the Nobel Prize in Literature in A. 1995, B. 2001, C. 2006, D. 2011. It is option B. 20, 2001. Which Caribbean island nation is the birthplace of V. S. Naipaul? A. Jamaica, B. Haiti, C. Barbados, C. Trinidad and Tobago. So, the Purba question is like on Trinidadian born. So, it is option D, Trinidad and Tobago. No, it is not existential despair. Jhumpa Lahiri's Pulitzer Prize winning collection of short stories, Interpreter of Melodies, primarily explores the experiences of A, Indian immigrants in the United States, B, Italian immigrants in Canada, C, Chinese immigrants in Australia, B, D, Mexican immigrants in Spain. It is option A, Indian immigrants in the United States because Jhumpa Lahiri, I mean, hello, almost the Indian American, Indian origin, America re settle karchanti. So, in America, the kind of uh, life, the challenges, the Indians go and face, the discrimination they face, these sort of things have been dealt with in the interpreter of maladies by Jhumpa Lahiri. Which of the novel is written by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni? A. C. B. C. is also an Indian American writer. There are some Indian writing American citizenship nature. A. Unaccustomed Earth. B. The Namesake. C. The Last Queens. D. Interpreter of Melodies. This is option C, the last queens, where she writes about the queen 
who led the Khalsa movement and very and braving all odds, she came forward and took the administration. The last queens. Who has written the novel The Satanic Verses? A. Kushwan Singh, B. Arundhati Roy, C. Arvind Adiga, D. Salman Razdi. The Satanic Verses the most controversial novel by so the satanic verses was written by the controversial writer the great writer salman rushdie and the controversy was so much you won't believe जे लोकों को इतने रागत आप रहो इसी the Muslim world रहो जे recently से when he was से आशीन ऑफ़ लाइक एबेर very recently it's seven eight days back he appeared in the United States गुटे award giving ceremony रे because थोरे appear कर थला stage रे सत्तवाले तकु he was attacked he lost one eyesight Salman Rushdie अबे तंग photo भी देखी बा आखिरे black गुटे लगाई जी cover टे say satanic verses he has it is a blasphemous it was against prophet Muhammad. In Midnight's Children by Salman Razdi the protagonist Salim Sanai is born at the exact moment when India gains independence from which colonial power is a very easy question a Britain b France c Portugal d Netherlands. It is option A because a very easy question a small child can answer. Amish Tripathi is best known for his series of novels that reimagines re the myths and legends of which ancient civilization. is best known for the series of novels that reimagines the myths. He is, is famous for his mythological fiction and legends of which ancient civilization A Roman, B Greek, C Egyptian, D Indian. Let me see the answer. It is very good, it is option D Indian. He draws upon the Indian myth and Indian legends. The Shiva trilogy, then on, on the Ramchandra. The first book in Amish Tripathi Shiva trilogy is titled A, The Oath of the Vaiputras, B, The Immortals of Melua, C, The Secret of the Nagas, D, The Shion of Ishvaku. The Shiva trilogy, it is about Lord Shiva. Which is the first book? Shiva trilogy, which is the first book? The first book is the Immortals of Melua. The Tinta jo si, the trilogy mein Tinta say the Immortals of Melua, the Secret of the Nagas, tapahala, the Oaths of the Vaiputras. It Tinta hala Shiva trilogy. Re. The first book is the Immortals of Melua. 
who is the brilliant detective created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, known for his deductive reasoning and keen observation skills? A. Hercule Poirot, B. Sam Spade, C. Sherlock Holmes, D. Philip Marlowe. Let me see, this is a very simple question. Harkir Poirot is Agatha Christian, mind you. Arthur Conan Doyle, a famous great creation is Sherlock Holmes, option C, Sherlock Holmes. You know? Arthur Conan Doyle always wanted to write historical fiction. He first wrote series of this kind of a detective thrillers for a magazine. And he became so famous and, uh, and there was a huge demand for him, for Arthur Conan Doyle to go on writing detective thrillers. Arthur Conan Doyle was a doctor. So, he had seen his professor Joseph Bell in the labs in the hospital, how he is to dissect operation Kimti Karanti, how he is to deduct con con, what are the reasons, quota case, like what kind of a disease the person, the patient is suffering. So, he had very minutely observed his professor and when he was so disgusted, so he told his mom, he told his mother, that listen, I am going to, I will allow Sherlock Holmes to die. Let me write other things, because my objective was writing historical fiction, not a detective, this thrillers. So, you know what his mother replied? His mother said, you want, you cannot, you should not, you, you cannot kill Sherlock Holmes. So, then he what? Then he told his uh, publishers, so he went on quoting very exorbitant fees for his books and the publisher immediately readily agreed jaha court karbe ame dabag raji ho because his books were being sold like hot cakes asla khanika immediately loko kinile taku and the publisher is to make a lot of profit to se mane kahile jette jaha paisa kohonta ame dabu so he was forced to continue with Sherlock Holmes series In which Sherlock Holmes story does the detective famously fall to his apparent death at the Reichenbach Falls only to return later? A. The Hound of the Vaskervilles, B. A Study in Scarlet, C. The Final Problem, D. The Sign of the Four. It is option C, the final problem. The final problem is Sherlock Holmes fa falls into the, into a, into a, into a waterfall achi. So, he falls there and he supposed, supposedly dies. Amar Jainthi si film ta kona? Samir Khan even sabo? Jainthi si mariye to again Dhoom, Dhoom 1, Dhoom 2, Dhoom 3, again he is revived. So, Salak Holmes was again revived after the final problem. Now, these are some questions on literary unit 5, literary criticism. Aristotle was a Greek philosopher who tutored which famous historical figure? A. Socrates, B. Alexander the Great, C. Plato, D. Cicero. Aristotle was a Greek philosopher who tutored which famous historical figure? Socrates, Plato, Cicero, it is Alexander the Great. Socrates kara disciple thile Plato. Plato's disciple was Aristotle. 
Aristotle's disciple, Aristotle's student thile Alexander the Great. It is option B, Alexander the Great. Socrates like a student, Plato. And Plato's father was very, very unhappy when Plato is to go to Socrates. And Plato's student was Aristotle. And Aristotle's student was Alexander the Great. In Aristotle's poetics, he discusses the elements of dramatic storytelling, including A, epic poetry, B, tragedy and comedy, C, lyric poetry, D, satire. In Aristotle's poetics, he discusses the elements of dramatic storytelling. Aristotle's poetics ja amara Bharat kara Natya Sastra Saita. It is option B, tragedy and comedy. William Wordsworth's preface to lyrical ballads is considered a foundational text of which literary movement? A romanticism, B realism, C naturalism, D modernism. William Wordsworth's preface to lyrical ballads is considered a foundational text of which literary movement? Because 1798 Raven preface to the lyrical ballads was published, it started the that is a romantic manifesto. It is option A romanticism. According to Wordsworth's preface, what is the primary source of poetic inspiration? A nature, B ancient mythology, C urban landscapes, D political events. According to Wordsworth's preface, what is the primary source of poetic inspiration? A nature, B ancient mythology, C urban landscapes, D political events. It is nature, because where there is said about what are the four stages of poetic creation because when you see something that gets registered in your mind, then tamo brain it goes on, tapre when it filtering hella, then suddenly you know what a similar situation when you are a proper frame of mind. So, then you start writing. So, got an incident tamo dekhi thi not that je aji dekhi li kali dekhi li poem ta. So, a proper moment asi gala pore, you start writing that, writing a poem, recollecting in tranquility those things, those sights those landscapes, those scenery, culture and anarchy is the work of A. Dr. Johnson, B. John Dryden, C. Matthew Arnold, D. T. S. Eliot, culture and anarchy. Because culture and anarchy, study of poetry, they are all there prescribed in your syllabus. It is option C, Matthew Arnold, where he talked about culture is a quest for perfection. And anarchy is where if you do as you like, chapter 2 Riachi, do as you like, that means if you have the freedom to do whatever you like. Then, if you do not, if you do not uh, uh, tow the government uh, rules and regulations framed by the government, then what happens? There will be lawlessness, there will be uh, total breakdown of governance and there will be total anarchy. So, that is what cultural and anarchy means. 
who has differentiated fancy and imagination? A. John Dryden, B. Dr. Johnson, C. Coleridge, D. Shelley. Who has differentiated fancy and imagination? It is Coleridge in his biography of literary. He said uh, he talks about fancy, then primary imagination and secondary imagination, and how the secondary imagination is exclusively the product of the poet's mind. So, who is the only, who usually uses the the poets, the creative artists, the creative writers? They use this. They are gifted with that secondary imagination. I must almost think a secondary imagination. So, that is what it is Coleridge in option C Coleridge. I. A. Richards was a prominent figure in the field of A. Literary theory and criticism, B. Physics and astronomy, C. Political philosophy, D. Medicine and psychology. So, I. A. Richards, it is literary theory and criticism. He along with Robert Payne Warren, William Wimsatt, T. S. Eliot and Beardsley, Robert Payne Warren, Alan Tate, William Emson, Emson they, they started with new criticism, where they said that we should not, we should ignore all the external elements like social and historical context biography of the writer. the So, everything should be absent. We should shut your eyes to all those things and so simply concentrate on close reading. Simply the text writer kye ko century ra kichche dar karne jani ba. And it was mostly they were they mostly focused on poetry. So, use the various the rhyme scheme, the meter, the rhythm then a sense, feeling, tone, you analyze a poem. Metaphor, simile, the, the literary devices used, you simply analyze the poem without considering who has written it and from which century, whether it is written by in the 18th century or 19th century or 20th century. So, they started the new criticism. Our new criticism research then you come we come across structuralism post structuralism historicism new historicism post modernism so he, these are all slight modifications he gala when stephen greenblatt talk, talked about new historicism say so okay you forget about the writer but you cannot ignore the historical context you cannot ignore the historical context the socio historical context has to be there in a in a piece of work. Anyway, in his work Practical Criticism, I. A. Richards focused on the close analysis and interpretation of A. Scientific texts, B. Musical compositions, C. Literary texts, D. Political speeches. I. A. Richards focused on the close analysis and interpretation of yes, very good. It is option C literary texts, mostly poems, mostly poems. Simone de Beauvoir is best known for our seminal work on feminist philosophy, the second sex. 
In this work, she examines a the role of women in ancient Greece, b the oppression and social conditioning of women, c the history of women's suffrage movements, d the achievements of women in science and art. In one of my live classes in the Vidyakara app, I have talked about Simon Devore, how she married Jean Paul Sartre, and it was existential feminis feminism she spoke, she talked about. She talked about the other. Very good. Option B the oppression and social conditioning of women. Because in the first wave of feminism, Mary Wollstonecraft. She championed the cause of women's education. That women and men and women are created differently, biologically different, but both are both both are creation of God. And if you give them a level playing field, give the same opportunity to the boy and the girl, they the girl will also excel as at par with the boy, maybe better than the boy. So don't deprive them of education. Give them education. And Simon Dever, she talked about the women right, she spoke in favor of abortion, a woman should have the right for aborting a child. Edward Said is known for his influential work Orientalism, which examines how western scholars have historically portrayed and studied what a eastern cultures and societies, b Western art and literature, C African wildlife, D indigenous peoples in the Americas. Edward Said's seminal book Orientalism, I think published in 1978. It talks about what? So, most of you are writing western art and literature, I am very, very sorry to say tell you the correct option is eastern culture and society, orientalism manne kona, orientals orient sehle eastern loko, Asia, Asians, Middle East, Eman hele amhelu orientals, taro antonym or opposite is occidental. So, the western west hoji occident, west manne sabbali jantha. West European country, not the East European country, Western West European country like France, England, Germany, Italy, Spain, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Emanhele, most civilized, Portugal, Netherlands, Emanhele, more civilized of the Occidents. So, they are superior, we are inferior. So, what happens? Edward said in his Orientalism seminal work, the great work Orientalism, he says that what is these Orient, what we Orients are? He is a Palestinian person. I think he died in 2003 in the United States. So, he says that how the East, the Eastern culture, the Orients and the societies, how they are shaped these impressions we get from the Eurocentric historians. Jotaki provincializing Europe, Jotaki Dipesh Chakravarti had written. That the western the historians, Tankavitru Kete India totally asina hanti, Asia ko asina hanti, Tanko lokomane jaha babile ta leki de kri gole. What they thought about? So, what semane jaha likhle? Jotaki tanko western lokon ko suhaiba. Because they wrote about India, what is India? India is a land of snake charmers. Tanka manko to nocha hutu, dole loko tiai dokutibe. Kia asik tanko sapa kalutu, dole loko dekutu, it is Indian culture. So, India is a country of fast feast and festivals. Dinner rati festival, dinner rati lokon ko upas, brotha, chalchi. This is the country. So, this is what they, they have, they conceived of India. India, so, are we like that? Are we not rational? 
are we not intellectuals are we not educate so they painted a very poor picture je tum mane inferior kichhi jani no superstitious middle ages of raicha we are superior so amara hela civilizing mission we are on a civilizing civilizing mission tum man ko civilize karibu ame making you more rational ei na civilization civilization sikhebe so we are savage brute uncivilized semana amuk civilization sikhebe ei bhaya jo picture gura ko so they 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 painted the Arab, arabs kon they they is to those people they do not know anything they sit on a camel's back and they move in the desert jenti tankar au kichhi nai identity kichhi nai ei ahi tankar identity so say it ko edward said wrote, wrote his book orientalism so that is not the right picture because that is a that is the picture in the minds of the western historians america canada au semana se misi jae west se di jon ko add kara jae so these countries these so called developed countries amuku chori kari 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 exploit kari ki nije dhani hai chanti so these countries the, this is the image this is the kind of a picture they paint about the orients or the eastern culture eastern societies that is what edward said writes in his orientalism it is eastern culture and societies next question select the sentence so we have come to the end of unit 5 now let us do 10 grammar questions then we are done select the sentence with correct subject verb agreement a the group of students is going on a field trip b the group of students are going on a field trip c the group of students are am going on the field trip d the group of students was going on a field trip oxidental is o c c i oxid oxidation no reduction oxidation chemistry no oxidental is o c c i d e n t a l oxidental is spelling is this now answer this grammar questions can i plus 2 class me padha padibo na it is option a the a group the group of students is going on a field trip सब कलेक्टिव नाउन मैंने मोस्टली सिंगुलर ये ग्रुप मान कौन द टीम टीम मान कौन इट कनसीस मे बी फाइव प्लेयर्स मे बी सिक्स प्लेयर्स सो द ग्रुप हूँ ये अफ हूँ कौन अफ इज अ प्रिपोजिशन स्टूडेंट्स कौन स्टूडेंट्स हूँ इज द अब्जेक्ट अफ प्रिपोजिशन अफ अफ पर जो नाउन आसे माइंड यू वंथिंग इन अफ प्रिपोजिशन पर जो नाउन नाउन आसे ताको कहती अब्जेक्ट अफ द प्रिपोजिशन आमर हो सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रिमेंट मान कौन व्हाट डू मीन बाय सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रिमेंट प्रथम आसे सब्जेक्ट तापर आसे वर्ब सो सब्जेक्ट क्या वर्ब क्या फलो कै सब्जेक्ट को फलो कै सो इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज सिंगुलर द वर्ब विल बी सिंगुलर इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूराल द वर्ब विल बी प्लूराल सो यू हाव इन सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट जोटा कि बैंक हो ऑन ऑल द एग्जामिनेशंस यू हैव टू फर्स्ट लोकेट द सब्जेक्ट गोटे सेंटेंस से सब्जेक्ट आ सिंगुलर ना प्लूराल यू हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट ओके सो वी नो दैट आम कौन सब्जेक्ट ए वर्ब हैज बोथ सब्जेक्ट एंड एन ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रांजेटिव वर्ब इन ट्रांजेटिव वर्ब ताक छाड़ दि गोटे फर्माल जिन गोटे फंडामेटाल जिनस यू सुड नो दैट ए वर्ब हैज ए सब्जेक्ट एंड अ object and the subject and the object should be should be a noun or a pronoun subject object verb ra thai that should be either a noun or a pronoun preposition ra kebal object thai subject na thai so preposition pare jo noun ta tame paibo sei noun ta huchi preposition ra object se verb ra object nu hai understand सो एठी ऑफ ता होची कोन ऑफ इज अ प्रपोजिशन ता परे आसला कोन स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स इज अ कॉमन नाउन 
so it is eta hala plural but eta hochi preposition ra object verb ra object nu e verb ra subject khojibo ei verb is ei verb ta eta hala helping verb is going hochi verb ta so is going verb ra subject ki e to khojo student hala preposition e of eta of hala preposition a students la preposition ra object okay ta par rahela the group the ta kon article to lage definite article आर्टिकल तो का पूर्व पूर्व लागे सब बेले नाउन पूर्व पूर्व लागे यस अर नो सो एठी ग्रुप ता हबो काहे कि ना दिस ग्रुप इज ट्रीटेड एज अ सिंगुलर यूनिट सो द ग्रुप इज गोइंग ऑन अ फील्ड ट्रिप जोठी ग्रुप ता डिवाइडेड हेतबो जेमती कमिटी कम द कमिटी होच सिंगुलर किंतु इदले कमिटी मेंबर्स आर डिवाइडेड कमिटी माने कर दीटा लोग तीनटा लोग नै कमिटी हे पारे चारटा मेंबर रे कमिटी हे पारे पांचटा मेंबर रे कमिटी हे पारे when they all agree there is no there is no dissension so sei jagar hobo singular jo ti group re member mane divided thante kichu member yade gale agu ti kichu member yade gale sei jagar re group hejbo plural etti khel just mon rakta so here the group all the students are going on a field trip there is no dissension okay so it is option a the group of students is going on a trip so the group ra verb hoche is going students is not student is not an not the object subject of the verb verb purburashi but it is the object of the preposition of identify the sentence with the correct tense she will be a c will be singing at the concert tomorrow b she would be singing at the concert yesterday c c c singing at the concert now d c will sing at the concert tomorrow एक क्वेश्चन करो यू आर सेइंग आंसर विल बी बोथ ए एंड डी द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वाज गोइंग ऑन अ फील्ड ट्रिप ओके द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट वाज गोइंग ऑन अ फील्ड ट्रिप ये तो कहीं के होबो नहीं ना द स्टूडेंट द एंटायर स्ट्रक्चर तमे जे तो कहो छ वाज गोइंग ऑन अ फुल फुल ट्रिप सुन आमर जे केते बेले पास्ट कंटीन्यूअस लागे टेल मी म काई कोच यू आर रॉन्ग वाज गोइंग पास्ट कंटीन्यूअस केते बेले लागे व्हेन यू आर सेइंग आमर पास्ट कंटीन्यूअस केते बेले व्हाइल आई वाज क्रॉसिंग द रोड आई सॉ अ मंगूस आई सॉ अ मंगूस गो बाय और आई सॉ अ मंगूस सेत्ते बेले लागियो व्हेन दीटा इवेंट रहुचे सेत्ते बेले लागियो वाज कंटीन्यूअस टेंस ला लागियो अंडरस्टैंड पास्ट कंटीन्यूअस लागियो सो एम्ती लेखि परियो द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट वाज गोइंग ऑन अ फील्ड ट्रिप इट इज एन इनकंप्लीट सेंटेंस नॉट अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वाज गोइंग ऑन अ फील्ड ट्रिप व्हेन सडनली दे रिसीव्ड अ कॉल फ्रॉम देयर ग्रुप कैप्टन टू कम बैक अंडरस्टैंड सेति पई डीटा होबनी the only answer is a okay i hope you have understood was going grammar bahire dekhibo to kete bele past continuous kore past continuous mane kon je past re gote incident heitla past re emti eta heitila se mane jauthila something happened the action was continuing and something happened आ खाली पास्ट टेंस द खाली सिंपल पास्ट टेंस जतले टाइम देथो येस्टरडे लास्ट इवनिंग लास्ट मंडे लास्ट ईयर एग्जैक्ट टाइम देथले इट हैज टू बी सिंपल पास्ट द ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वेंट ऑन अ पिकनिक वेंट ऑन अ ट्रिप दैट इज अ करेक्ट ग्रामेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर द ग्रुप वाज गोइंग ऑन द ट्रिप व्हेन दे वर ऑर्डर टू कम बैक इट हैव अ ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट सेंटेंस दिस इज एन इनकंप्लीट ग्रामेटिकल सेंटेंस नाउ सेकंड आ देखो she will be singing at the concert tomorrow she would be singing at the concert yesterday she is singing at the concert now she will sing at the concert tomorrow what answer hoba it is a she will be singing at the concert tomorrow acha eta kahi ki hoye je continuous tense ta kahi ki lage will be singing 
because this kind of us will be singing because when something is fixed the schedule is fixed itinerary is fixed kali concert habo it is already fixed ye gita gaibo the prime minister will be visiting will be attending the un session on 2024 tamane kon itinerary fixed uche khali will haboni so eti hochi she will be singing at the concert tomorrow understand kahi ki ing form ta lage khali will kahi rahiboni choose the sentence in the active voice a the book was read by mary mary read the book c the book will be read by mary d the book is being read by mary is a very simple sentence active voice kon hobo no future planning no it is hochi jete bale something is fixed change hobar nahi the train will be arriving at 9:30 that means train er exact time hochi 9:30 fixed schedule very good mary read the book because active voice passive voice are fundamental kon active voice is subject verb object passive voice is object verb and subject so verb ta hoche sabu bale easily how to identify passive voice by verb ta ko so ta hoche b plus verb a third form this is passive voice was verb passive voice ko dhariwa kemti because tomar ta time nahi na so active achi ki passive achi jothi third form b plus third form thibo so jantibo se gula sabu hela passive voice तो ता भीतर जे सो एटा रख बुक वाज रेड रीड रेड रेड बी प्लस वाज टू बी वर्ब टे अ वर्ब थर्ड फॉर्म सो दिस इज पैसिव वॉइस द बुक विल बी रेड अगेन बी प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म अछि द बुक इज बीइंग रेड अगेन बी प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म अछि एटा जे कोनो बुक इज बीइंग रेड कोन ही इज रीडिंग द बुक द बुक इज बीइंग रेड बाय हर अ बाय जोठी लागला त सब जगहला पैसिव पैसिव वॉइस पैसिव वॉइस है दीटी जिनसे देखियो बाय थिबो आउ बी प्लस वर्ब थर्ड फॉर्म थिबो तो जानथो इमीडिएटली दैट सेंटेंस इज इन पैसिव वॉइस एक्टिव वॉइस है सब्जेक्ट डज द वर्क सो मैरी रीड द बुक मैरी इज द सब्जेक्ट वर्ब होची रीड वर ऑब्जेक्ट हला द बुक एनीवे नेक्स्ट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच ए सी सेड आई विल बी देयर she says i will be there c she said that she would be there d she says i will be there which of the following is an example of indirect speech etta sahaj answer question asibane kebe take it from me which is the right answer eta indirect speech re kota hobo she said it is option c she said that she would be there which sentence contains the correct use of a preposition he is good at playing piano he is good in playing piano c he is good with playing piano d he is good for playing piano अरे इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच रे कोन रेबो एपोस्ट्रोफी एपोस्ट्रोफी टा पळेबो प्रा इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच रे तो केमते जिवो दैट लगे कि जिवो एटा को ही इज गुड विथ प्लेइंग पियानो यस ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर प्रोफिशिएंसी रे होची एट डेफिशिएंसी रे हला इन दीटा फंडामेंटल प्रपोजिशन यूज जानथिबो ही इज गुड एट मैथमेटिक्स पुअर इन फिजिक्स जोटी एफिशिएंसी सेटाला एट जोटी डेफिशिएंसी सेटाला इन व्हिच सेंटेंस यूजेस अ मॉडल वर्ब करेक्टली ए ही कैन टू स्पीक इंग्लिश फ्लुएंटली ही मस्ट स्पीक इंग्लिश फ्लुएंटली 
C he can speak English fluently, D he can speak English fluently. Which contains the which in which sentence the model verb can is used in a correct way and the sentence is grammatically correct. I am really sorry, please. I so A, B, con, can the lekhu chaani. He can to speak, can the hobo kai. Can hoche con. What is a, what is a model verb? Model verb. This tell you the, about the mood, ability, permission. E gora hoche model verb. Can ra could, shall ra should, will ra would, may ra might. Okay. So, iti kono. Can hoche ability. Se kahi pare has he has the ability to speak fluently. So, it is option D, he can speak what English, how fluently, grammatically absolutely correct sentence. So, the model verb can is used in a proper way, he can speak, he has the ability to speak English, how fluently. So, fluently is the adverb. So, he can speak English fluently, option D is the right answer. Choose the sentence with the correct phrasal verb usage. A, they made up the story. B, they made out the story. C, they made off the story. D, they made by the story. The correct option is they made up the story. Made up the story mane got an othibo micha koitibo. Kahin deri hela asilani, tomato micha story te tiari kalatan gare koila. So you make you make up a story, you so past tense you made up a story. Make out mane I can't make out what you are saying, mu bujipani what you are saying. That is make out. So option A, C, they made up the story. Choose not to make an issue of it. No. Chose not to make an issue of it. I was upset by his behavior. This should be the first sentence, it have a second sentence. Fill in the blanks with one of the options. A of course, B due to this, C similarity, D still. I am repeating is, I was upset by his behavior. I was upset by his behavior, chose not to make an issue of it. I was very disappointed with the behavior. I was disappointed with the behavior. I was very disappointed with the behavior. I was very disappointed Just I will tell you one thing. The correct option I will option D still. Due to this, I will tell you I decide to decide I will tell you I will tell you I will tell so, it is only option I can be still. So, still I chose not to make an issue of it. An issue of it means that could have been a bit more than a very busy gondola parasitic sushi curriculum or both looking at it. So, I did not I did not want to make create a mess, create a scene. So, I decided it is better let me keep quiet. Let me not complain about anything. Take a chip, behave color, chup, ignore it. Forgive and forget. Next. In the sentence, they ran out of time. What does the phrasal verb ran out of means? The 
in the sentence they ran out of time so ai goda ko ai phrasal verb goda ko usually ame jota ko daily day to day life re sunu use hue sei goda ko our mind one thing phrasal verb pe usually informal communication re use hue phrasal verb phrasal verb ta formal communication re use hue ni mon ko tame gote emphil thesis lekhucho gote project lekhucho you cannot write phrasal verbs it is not allowed phrasal verb ta informal way re lekha jaye so run run out of time mane kon cricket commentary hue ni running out of time you have to find out how to break the partnership yes very good a they completed the task on time b they had an abundance of time c they exhausted their allotted time d they went for a run during their free time it is option c they exhausted their allotted time whatever whatever time was allotted they have already exhausted which of the following sentence uses the phrasal verb breakdown correctly a sentence re eta khobo ni eta the car broke down on the highway is not breaking up on the highway correction i have already made the car broke down on the highway she will break down the problem for us see the teacher will break into the classroom d the computer will break off suddenly which is the right answer yes so breakdown mane kon gote gaon kar some somebody suppose somebody hears about somebody's death to se breakdown kala kandila ba mane bahut emotional he gala that is a breakdown out a breakdown mane hala make develop mechanical problem so breakdown kala machinery mane is a engine failure so the car broke down on the highway is a right use of the phrasal verb breakdown she will break down the problem for us no it makes it makes no sense the teacher will break into the classroom break into the classroom means barge into the classroom d the computer will break off suddenly so our only correct usage which option a the car broke down on the highway so we have come to the end of analyzing or just running going through 100 questions i hope it has been beneficial to you all and wish you all the best do well in your examination on 3rd of december and let us wait for some good news from you all from your quarter okay thank you all share the link and share and like and share is a must because that will boost our morale that will boost our but that will give us extra atp atp is adenosine triphosphate energy understand so and <coughs> that is vidyakar online classes <coughs> download the app and we have provided 100 that and and youtube re, kindly subscribe and tama subscription jette badhibo subscribe jette badhibo sette we will be able to cater to the needs of many poor students also understand not that you are doing something you are also doing something for the society so youtube has become as a blessing in today's world jo mane karab kichhi nahi like they do not have any options se mane ghare youtube dekhi ki bahut bahut examination crack kar chhe kindly subscribe like button ta sabale kar lo on kar thwa and uh, we are we are trying to give our 200% and i hope you sh it should be reciprocal it should be properly equally reciprocated by you all understand
Thank you all. Thank you very much.